Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. In this video, I'm going to show you a great way to cut leather with Cricut. The Cricut settings to cut genuine leather requires using the deep cut blade. However, I haven't gotten good results with this blade. I prefer to use the knife blade and a Cricut maker. Now, let's begin. This method is going to work with Cricut Genuine Leather, Faux Suede and Got Skin. To cut leather, you will need to use Cricut Maker and the knife blade. Keep in mind that the knife blade only works with Cricut Maker. You will also need the Strong Grit Mat. I'm going to cut these earrings in leather. Cricut recommends avoiding cutting pieces smaller than 3 quarters of an inch when using the knife blade. I didn't have a leather hole punch on hand, so I decided to make the earrings holes using Cricut. However, if you are planning to make more than a couple of earrings, I recommend getting one. Before cutting these pieces, I want to show you the Cricut settings to cut leather. Go to the left upper corner, open the drop down menu and click on manage custom materials. Select Cricut Maker. Go to genuine leather. The settings for these are pressure 315, passes 2 and the teat cut blade. However, I prefer to use the knife blade and to be able to use it, I need to use a material that is set with this blade, like the garment leather. The settings are the closest to the genuine leather, the pressure is 300, passes 4 and is set with the knife blade. At the moment, I cannot edit the material set with the knife blade so I cannot reduce the number of passes. However, I can pause the cut to check if the blade has cut the material in fewer passes or add extra passes if needed. Now I'm back in the canvas. If you are planning to cut leather with a knife blade, I recommend using simple shapes like this. Avoid using intricate forms. They won't work well and will likely ruin the material. I'm going to delete this image because it's too complex. Select everything and click on attach, then click on make it. I'm going to move the design to the position one on one on the mat. This will give me a space to cover the four sides of the piece of leather with tape. Click on continue. Now it's time to choose the material. Go to browse all materials, type garment on the search box, select garment leather. This part is really important. Move the star wheels all the way to the right. Make sure the material is no wider than 11 inches and is secured to the strong grit mat using masking tape in all four sides. I have the knife blade on clamp B and now I'm going to load the mat. Before cutting, don't forget to bring all the star wheels to the right. How do you place the leather on the mat is up to you. You can place it with the smooth side up or down. If you place the leather with the fussy side down, it will stick better but it will also leave residues on the mat. If you place it with the smooth side down, it is less sticky but it won't leave residues on the mat. However, it may take one extra pass to cut the material. If you are using faux suede, it doesn't matter what side you use, there is no difference and it won't leave any residue on the mat. Load the mat. Don't forget to secure the leather with tape. I fast forward this part of the video. As you can see, the sign space is going to show you the progress of the cut. When the second pass is finished, press the pause button, check if the blade went through the material. The pieces have been cut, I'm going to cancel the rest of the job and remove the mat. With only two passes using the knife blade, I was able to cut this piece of leather. I'm going to use the wither tool to remove the material in the interior of the holes. The results you get when placing the leather with the smooth side down are similar, however, you may need to add another pass. I also cut the faux sweat using the garment leather settings and two passes. The results were also great. If you are using faux suede, you can use a little more intricate designs because this material is easier to cut.
If you are using simple shapes with faux suede, you may be able to cut it in just one pass with the knife blade. If you decide to cut leather with your Cricut, I recommend making a test cut using a simple shape like a circle. Also test to see if you prefer the results you get when placing the leather on the mat with the smooth side up or down. I hope you like this video and you find it informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you want to know how I make these earrings, stay tuned. The next video is going to show you how. If you are interested in getting a Cricut, I'm going to leave you the links where you can buy it in the info box below the video. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.